Hello and welcome to the Pro Forma Models Hotel Real Estate Investment Financial Model. This is a robust model capable of analyzing a core or value-add hotel investment opportunity. The model is programmed to account for seasonality by providing inputs for monthly average nightly rental rate and average number of rentals per month making it one of the most advanced models available to retail investors. The README tab states the model purpose, highlights common use cases, and provides an overview of functionality, formatting, and all of the unique modules within the model. This tab also provides additional documentation, contact information, and a summary of additional products and services available from Pro Forma models to support your analysis needs. The left side of the assumption module contains the non-operating user inputs starting with general property information. This is followed by the purchase metrics including the purchase price and calculation of the Pro Forma cap rate. The following section includes the investment structure and fees associated with the transaction. The model can accommodate up to a 10-year investment hold period. The model is pre-built to charge acquisition fees as well as asset management fees calculated based on value, equity, or cost, construction management fees for completing capital projects, as well as loan guarantor fees. Specific to investment returns, this assumption section has the inputs for the distribution yield as well the two-tier promote structure. This assumption section concludes with inputs for the exit cap rate spread and disposition fees charged on exit. The next non-operating assumption is for the general partner and limited partner equity contribution. The final non-operating assumption input is for the acquisition debt. There are assumptions for origination fees, loan-to-value, interest rate, and the opportunity to utilize monthly or annual prepayments. There are also trigger assumptions to select amortizing or interest only for the loan as well as select a fixed or floating interest rate. Next up is the operating assumptions, which begin with inputs for general property and analysis information. The model also has the ability to input downtime for immediate vacancy due to renovations, as well as a renovation budget and working capital funding. Hotels are heavily impacted by seasonality driven by tourism trends, events, and weather, amongst other reasons. A hotel real estate investment is highly sensitive to the seasonality of revenue. To account for this, Pro Forma Models built this financial model with inputs for the daily rental rate per unit per month to allow for month-to-month -month seasonality adjustments by year to generate a more realistic revenue forecast. In line with the rental revenue forecast and to reinforce the model for seasonality, occupancy is entered as the number of average rental nights by month to account for month-to-month -month fluctuations. Operating revenue assumptions are available for income not related to the hotel unit rental. The first assumption is for turnover, which drives damage and cleaning fee income as well as cleaning and turn expenses. The turnover assumption can be interpreted as how long the typical renter stays in the hotel unit per rental. For example, the case study we are presenting uses a 50% turnover assumption, which can be interpreted as an average rental term of two days per rental. This would result in cleaning and turn expenses being incurred for half of the occupied rental days. Operating revenue expenses are also available for food and beverage revenue, merchandise revenue, and other revenue. All of these items are entered on per rental per unit basis. Operating expense inputs are available for typical hotel operating costs. Cleaning and turn expenses as well as food and beverage expenses are entered on a per-rental per-unit basis. This means that an assumption of $10 per cleaning and turn expense will be applied as the cost per unit turnover not on an aggregate per-unit basis for the property. Most of the traditional operating expenses such as staffing, insurance, contracts, and advertising are entered on a per-unit per-year basis. For example, an assumption of $5,000 per unit per year for staffing expenses will model a total annual cost of $500,000 for a 100-unit property. Property tax and operating permits and fees are entered on a total per year basis. This means that if the property tax bill is $120,000 per year, 
enter the total annual tax bill as $120,000 as the property tax assumption. If you are utilizing additional property management, a property management fee input is provided as a percentage of revenue. The final operating expense assumption is an input for annual capital expenditures, which could be a lender requirement or a conservative cash reserve by ownership. The monthly pro forma cash flow tab starts by modeling monthly rentals and the average nightly rate to generate the monthly rental income. This is followed by a calculation of rental turnover to be utilized as a driver for turnover expenses. A pro forma monthly income statement is generated beginning with revenue comprised of rental income, cleaning fees, and other income. Operating assumptions are deducted from revenue to calculate the monthly net operating income. Capital expenditures, investment general and administrative expenses, as well as debt service expenses, including both principal and interest, are deducted from net operating income to calculate the monthly net income. The bottom of the monthly cash flow tab includes a month-by-month -month tracking of cumulative principal and interest paid for quick review. Please also note all pro forma models include a dynamic header with key property information and investment metrics for quick review while completing the model. The annual pro forma cash flow tab takes the monthly pro forma cash flow and consolidates it into annual totals. This tab calculates the average annual nightly rental rate, total annual rentals, and total annual turnovers. The pro forma income statement works from revenue down to net operating income down to net cash flow to equity. A tracking of cumulative principal and interest as well as the pro forma property value if provided below the income statement. The debt schedule tab is completely dynamic and starts with a summary of the mortgage assumptions in the loan details section. The debt schedule is organized to break out each component, such as principal, interest, and prepayments so a user can see all components of their total payment. The model has the ability to reflect an interest-only period within an amortizing loan and also has the ability to utilize floating rate debt. The loan summary section highlights the impact of prepayments. The data validation tab contains all controlled lists within the model and can be customized to your specific use. The returns tab begins by providing a detailed sources and uses table showing how funds will be allocated on closing and the sources of funding for the investment. The sources and uses table is followed by a summary cash flow for up to a 10-year investment period. The cash flow works from revenue to net operating income, followed by reductions to determine the funds from operations, which is further reduced by capital expenditures to calculate the adjusted funds from operations. Following reductions for principal payments and renovation vacancy downtime, the free cash flow to equity is calculated. The section below the pro forma cash flow includes calculation of the yield in dollar terms, the cash surplus or deficit, as well as the funds from operations and adjusted funds from operations payout ratio. Now that we have the pro forma cash flow and free cash flow to equity, the deal level gross unlevered and levered returns are detailed. Each return table shows the levered and unlevered net cash flow, yield, IRR, and multiple of capital. Following the deal level levered and unlevered returns, the general partner and limited partner returns are showcased. The returns are presented in the same format as the deal level returns and includes the calculation of net cash flow, yield, IRR, and multiple of capital for the general partner and limited partner. The final component of the returns output tab is the waterfall distribution. The waterfall distribution is pre-programmed as a return of capital to limited partners, an 8% preferred return to limited partners, and then a two-tier promote structure. The first promote tier is 15% of the return over 8%, but less than 10%, and the second tier is 25% over 10%. Please remember that all pro forma models are fully customizable to your specific use case and that the preloaded inputs are for illustrative purposes but can be fully changed to your specific needs. Please reach out to Pro Forma Models directly if you have any questions or require assistance. 
The Output tab provides visualizations of your analysis to help drive investment decision-making. The first section is the sources and uses to visualize the allocation of costs on closing as well as the sources of capital. The following section visualizes the deal-level gross levered and unlevered IRR as well as the general partner and limited partner IRR. A visual is also provided of the debt balance over time showing the cumulative principal paid and outstanding loan balance. The final section visualizes the operating results. The first chart tracks net operating income by year as well as revenue, expense, and net operating income growth. The last chart tracks the average daily rental rate by year as well as the number of days rented by year. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this pro forma models walkthrough and encourage you to visit our website to try the model for yourself.